but let's get back into why we are here today. Yeah. We are here because a very special day is coming up. Mm. That's right, Friday. <laughs> oh, I mean Valentine's Day. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Yes, yes, yes of course. Uh, Rich, we've got some exciting things happening. We do, and it's not just around Valentine's Day. We've got a bunch of other stuff happening and or coming, so we definitely want to talk about it. And also, like I mentioned before, we always will and still will have a trivia section at the end of the stream where you players can actually win some beer points. Outstanding. All right, well, let's get right to it. Uh, as you can see, I've got the app open right now, and first we're going to focus on raid bosses. They're a great way to gain experience and items and happen once a month, and we're very excited about this upcoming one. And in case you're new to the raids, I wanted to show you how to find them and how to fight them. So you can just go to your fight bosses, and right now at the top here, I'm just going to pick an ally boss because a buddy of mine has started it up. I'm going to choose. Now here you can choose the strength of your attack. You can go normal, or you can go power. And we've actually recently added a slider to increase it to 100 stamina, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. I'm just going to go 20 for now, and of course I need to heal, and we are just going to attack the boss. That simple. You can see that my stamina decreases by 20, because that's the amount of stamina I've chosen for the attack. And we're going to keep giving this guy the business here. This is good. All right. What you want to do with raid bosses is you want to work with other players as much as you can. It's a cooperative effort. There's no way you're going to be able to take down a raid boss by yourself, even though we do have four days. They have a ton of health and they're really tough to take down. I mean, it's possible, but it's, it's, it's very difficult. Yes, yes. You don't want to try it by yourself, though. It'll be, it'll be very tricky. Um, as you can see, when I'm attacking, you'll also notice that our health, our party health, will decrease. As the health decreases, every attack will yield less experience. So you want to make sure to keep your raid party healed as much as possible. So you probably want to throw in a mix of attacks and heals. Some people will gravitate more towards healing because maybe they have a better energy build. Others will be, you know, more fighters and stamina and they may gravitate more towards outright attacking. So that is great to know. Dial it back a bit, Henry. How can players, especially new players, find these raids to join? Yes, so there are a number of different ways. Uh, you can purchase a raid pass for 20 favor points in case you don't want to go try and find the keys. But raid boss otherwise requires four keys, and you'll have to do jobs in various locations to find those keys. So that'll take energy to do as well. Is there any way that I can know which locations to go to, or is it just kind of, is it kind of a draw? Generally, yeah. Generally, we'll have uh, similar locations. Uh, once in a while for promotions as well, we may email out some free keys that's to great. players. Uh, so that's very exciting. Uh, generally, players will kind of get into their own rhythm in terms of the raid boss schedule. So we have it again once a month for LCN. And then, you know, you'll be, you'll have your friends that you'll share with. Some of you may get free keys, some of you may not. You may want to save up your favorite points. But you generally want to get into a rhythm of finding out how to get into raid bosses quickly and then generating a lot of actions. Mm -hmm. So the actions are a combined heal and attack. You need to have a minimum amount of heals and attacks in order to qualify uh, for, for the items. And the top action performer will have a guaranteed legendary item at their disposal when they defeat the boss. Also, if it's your first raid boss, yes. you will also get a guaranteed item if you take that the boss. Yeah, so for every raid, or sorry, for the first raid that you open, um, which you are the owner of, when you defeat that boss, you will be guaranteed a loot drop. Definitely. So as you can see, we're just going to keep attacking away. Woohoo! Level up! That's really fun. And if you ever want the green box to go away, you just tap it is really cool. Um, all right. Uh, yes, also I want to just remind again about the emails. Um, if you are, make sure you are checking your emails so we do send out the email every month before the raid um, to hand out those keys. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to our email list and if you're not, just reach out and support the raid. Matter. That's us. If you're ever having troubles with the raids or yeah, like Ray said, if you're wondering where your keys are or maybe you got the wrong email sent, just let us know, and we'll look into it for you. Oh, and I don't know if we've mentioned this, but players do tend to share their raid bosses in the chats and things like that. Yeah. So if you are looking for raids to join and really hop on that bandwagon and really give in that team effort, mm -hmm. definitely keep your eyes out on the chats. Absolutely. We really want to encourage players also to try and do their best to finish the raids. 
generally you'll have a better chance of getting into a few raids and defeating them rather than just joining a lot uh, in hopes that you might get an item. We, we typically don't see as much success there. So keep that in mind. Um, Grace, I'm going to go back to something I mentioned previously where if you want, we do the player feedback, we've actually added this, where you can increase the amount of stamina you use on a boss attack up to 100 stamina, which is crazy. Now, the drawback is that the boss will hit back more the stronger your attack is. So you can't just hit 100 stamina attacks and not see your health drop. So I'm going to select 100 here, just like that, dead easy. And we're going to see we're going to do a lot more damage than I was used to, uh, than what I was doing before. But as you can see, our party health goes down a lot when I do that. So there is a drawback to that. You just want to be conscious of your health. And we will be looking at increasing the amount of heal you can do as well, thanks to player feedback. So that one is down the road, and we appreciate players letting us know that they would like to see that. Yeah. On that note, the mobile apps have definitely been getting a lot more love um, with regularly scheduled updates, and we're constantly listening to the feedback that players are sending in and make, taking all of those things into consideration when we're making improvements and things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, we are now going to be operating on a two-week mobile update cycle. Mm -hmm. So what that means is every two weeks, roughly, um, we'll be pushing out new builds to the stores, both on iOS, Android, as well as Amazon to ensure that players are getting the most updated versions of the games, that the feedback that is coming in is being applied and they're pushing those fixes forward and things like that. So um, make sure that you are definitely keeping an eye out and coming back and check on things and, and always writing into support, people like Henry over here. Um, we're definitely listening for your feedback and looking for suggestions. Grace, I am loving some of the changes we've made uh, mm -hmm. recently on the mobile app. Obviously, we've mentioned uh, that some of the changes to the raid boss have come into play, but also I wanted to get uh, eyes on a couple of other changes we've made that I'm really excited about. Uh, number one is that it's a lot easier now to find your ambushes and ignitions. So previously you had to go through a couple of menus and there was a pull down, no good. What we've added now is a much better accessible menu. So you go to your rival mobs and it's right there, ambushes and rigs, so you just click that. And here we can see all the players that I have set ambushes and rigs on. I can always get rid of them by just tapping the minus ambushes there. There we go, nice and easily managed. And if I ever want to put one back on a player, I will just click on them, hit defend, and then I can set an ambush and a rig from there. Keep in mind it will cost some money depending on the player's income level. But as you can see, a lot easier to do. That's where you go to it, everyone. You want to go to your homepage, Rival mobs, and you've got your ambushes and rigs tab right there. Beautiful, well done, mobile team, and thank you, players, for your feedback. Yes. Uh, additionally, and this is something I'm very excited. Uh, Sean has done a terrific job on this as well. But we now have some tutorial videos yes. in the mobile app. So for new players, if you're ever curious on how to play or how to do a feature, this is the tab you want to go to. If you go to more on the bottom right there. Navigate to the Video Tutorials tab, and there we have it. We have videos up right now for Battle Royale, Grace's favorite feature. Uh, not necessarily mine because Grace beats me at Battle Royale all the time, but it's still great. Uh, how to build your character, in case you're wondering which skills should I allocate where, and item crates, which is bang for your buck, one of the best ways to get stronger. Click on those if you're ever curious, and we will be adding more video content down the road. Yes. And we understand that our, you know, with, especially with new players, given that our games are so, like, we've been around for quite some time now, there's a lot of content to get through. So right. sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming in terms of what should I do first, what should I focus on, what's important, what's not important. So these video tutorials are a great way to get a good idea of where you might want to focus, depending on what type of gameplay that you're looking for. Absolutely. And as always, give us a question. If you ever are uncertain or you want some advice or tips, uh, head to the chat channels. Uh, definitely, our games thrive on the social connections. Yeah. So, and there's lots of veteran players out there wanting to help new players. So, throw a question in world chat, uh, jobs chat, see what they say. Not to mention, if you are looking for specific videos or you want better tutorials around a specific feature or whatever that is, please do let us know because we're always looking for more content to give you guys um, so that you can better understand how to best play these certain types of events or features or things like that. Any excuse. I can get to be on camera more. I am all in favor of. I'll do. I'll do almost anything. Yeah. So yeah. It, 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 game related. <laughs> game related, of course. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that we now have added an alert 
when players are reaching their maximum cash amount. Hard to believe, but our game's been going on for 10 years now, and some players have nearly reached the top, the absolute maximum amount of cash they can have, which is 18.4 quintillion. It's so much money, it doesn't actually exist. Only in our game is there that much money. And keep in mind, you can have that both in your cash reserve and in your bank. Mm -hmm. But once you get to that point, you won't generate any more. So make sure to spend that cash. Um, and you should get a warning. If you don't, or if there's something weird going on with your cash, again, let us know. But you should be able to get a warning on there now. And finally, I think we have so much mobile content to get through. I know, yeah, this is going to be an hour long live stream. Um, we wanted to let players know that with Faction Quests, this is really cool, Faction Quests. But Syndicate Quests, I guess. Yes, sorry, yes, internally I called, you're right, Syndicate Quests, I beg your pardon. Officers and leaders can now see individual contribution amounts, which is really handy. Maybe somebody is dragging their heels a bit and you want to give them a, an, encouraging, an encouraging light shove <laughs> to get on the quest, or maybe you really want to call out someone who's gone above and beyond uh, to, yeah, oh, yeah, just yeah. Tapping them on the I shoulder. thought you were saying, well, thank I thought maybe a pat on the back, <laughs> but, you know. Uh, maybe you want to give them uh, props to the rest of your syndicate after saying, hey guys, uh, Joe and Suzanne did a great job uh, because you can now see that. And that availability, availability is now available on mobile. Yeah, so, so you cool. can definitely see what each member of your syndicate is doing in terms of contributions towards each of the quests, which will, yeah, I think that'll just help with the visibility and hopefully will make the team work together a lot. Definitely. And this is direct feedback from our players. Yes. That's one of the reasons it's in the game. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, and we're going to be continuing to improve Syndicate Quests and all our features down the road. Yeah, so keep an eye out on our socials and all of that kind of jazz in game news as we are always looking to what's coming next. So keep your eyes peeled. Speaking of coming next, we've got a sale coming up. So, ah! Yes, I, mean, a sale? I feel like this is one of the bigger sales that we do. Um, in preparation for Huge. Valentine's Day. I yeah. mean, it's typically our most popular sale in terms of people really like this holiday and the content yeah. that we around this time of the year. Mm -hmm. um, but we will be having a Valentine's sale. Um, Valentine's Day sale where we are going to be having items that you get for free with purchases of uh, flavor point packages. So there will be a weapon, an armor, and a shield as usual. Um, and yeah, that's. Just, I'm really excited. I'm sorry, but these items are like amazing. They have really yeah. good stats, um, and they're also exclusive to the sale. So you will never see them ever again, ever. unless you pick them up during the sale. The heart target, in particular, has some very yes. impressive stats. I will be picking up a few, and the artwork on them looks amazing. So don't miss out. As Grace said, this is a limited time offer, and we are very excited. And the sale goes on Friday. 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 Yeah, Friday. I believe the sale opens at nine a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it'll work really nicely with those of you that are participating in the raid and really just bump up that strength um, and get those stats in there. Perfect timing for a raid mm -hmm. and a sale. And Valentine's Day. Exactly. There's and additionally love, to love that, that. Yes, additionally to that, more love. Um, we also released our new Valentine's Day crates, I believe last week. So if you haven't gotten your hands on those, that, that's also a really good way to get your hands on some really strong legendary items. Grace, there's almost too much. I know. How can we fit it all there's too in, much such a, love in such a crazy and live stream? You know, Valentine's related themed things happening yeah. right now. It's like how could we possibly cap off a a year perfect live stream filled with exciting content? I know how we give out free FP. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! That's a great idea. Yeah. So okay, we're gonna jump right into the trivia. Mm -hmm. We've got three questions. Um, all each for 25 favorite points is going to be price proportion. I just can't say that really weirdly. But 25 Not favorite points per question. And again, to make sure that there's fairness among all, we will only be awarding um, one prize per player. So you can answer as many questions as you want. Um, luckily, they are all going to be 25 favorite points each, but um, we will only be awarding one player one prize. That's right. Per that's right. We're all about fairness and uh, spreading the love exactly. over here. Yes. Exactly. So, is everybody ready for our first trivia question? I'm ready. Yes. Okay, great. Here we go. What is the name of the Las Vegas co-op boss available in Mob Wars LCN? Mm -hmm. What is the name of the Las Vegas co-op boss? I know the answer. I know the answer, too. Because it's right here on my, on my paper here. Exactly. But do you know? Wouldn't you like 25 free favor points? I mean, I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. That's like a raid pass right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. But perfect timing. Don't we have a raid boss starting soon? I think we do. do. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow at 9 a.m. All right, let's move it along. Next question. Question two. Okay. Great, set us up. So this is this is the easy one. Mm-hmm. So when I say it, I feel like the answer is going to be flooding in. So I'm just going to really you know, build up the anticipation here. Just, oh, no. I've been told not to hit the table. I'm going to do we'll a drum roll. We'll do a silent drum roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not a very good drum roll. <laughs> question number two. What is the fourth location you can unlock? The We're not unlocked. You're really unlocking the, so like, the fourth location you say? in hmm. Hogwarts Elsian. If only someone knew the answer to that, then we would be forced to give them twenty-five favorite points. This is, I think, this is probably your favorite location in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you've been watching our old live stream, this has definitely been a topic of discussion in the past. So. And Sean just went there. Really? The players may not know that, but you yeah. Jealous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm very jealous. jealous. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Number three. Let's do this, Sean. Uh, <laughs> what was the last? <laughs> what was the last raid boss for LCN? The most recent raid boss. Oh, we had this one was so good. The artwork was, was fantastic. It was really good, and of course, I didn't do it because I can't draw to save my life. But one of our many talented artists did, and I don't know if we need to give a clue. Uh, there's a movie with that title. It's sort of a. It's an alliteration. It is an alliteration. Nicely done. Yes. Uh-huh. It, uh, it's sultry. There's perhaps. some French in it. Yeah. Am I just getting away? No, I mean, <laughs> well, it depends on if someone's got it or not. All right. I think that is it. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up our live stream. Um, someone from our team will be selecting the winners based off of the answers you guys are giving in the comment section below, or I guess on the side. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. But thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed the live stream. We hope that you play every tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and have a fun. And yes, keep updated with our socials. We will be doing these live streams more frequently, and obviously updating you guys with anything that's happening in the game or what's coming and things like that. So please, please keep your eyes peeled because there's more to come. Couldn't have said it better myself. Grace, thank you very much for joining me. Players, thank you for joining us. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties, but we're so thrilled to see so many of you stick with us. And thank you again for watching.